I bring you greetings in the name of the Lord. I just want to share something briefly that I feel is very important at this time, you know. You see, what was really planted by your spirit can only be uprooted through a spirit. A lot of Christians have so canalized Christianity, not understanding and not realizing that Christianity has to do with the spirit. Christianity is spiritual. You can't be in a bondage caused by a spirit and expect to get yourself free by the activities of just your flesh. If it was orchestrated through a spirit, then a higher spiritual force must be the reason it is uprooted. Listen, the Bible says to be carnally minded is dead, but to be spiritually minded is life. There are certain yokes that are spiritually orchestrated. It took years of activity. Spirits that are strong and aged. And you think it's just by your mere flesh. You got to dig deep in the realms of the spirit. You got to activate the spirit. You got to pray. There is no power bigger than the power of God. But if you can't pray, you become a prey to the powers of darkness. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, spiritual wickedness in high places. If you can pray, you can win. If you can pray, you can break that yoke. If you can pray, I'm not talking about praying just by your words. I'm talking about praying through the Spirit. I'm talking about penetrating the reins of the Spirit. It's possible to break the yoke. It's possible to win. It's possible to get delivered. Don't canalize what you think is happening. If that yoke has been there for a while, and you've been doing the same thing all along through your flesh praying in the way you feel you could pray but you've not penetrated the realms of the spirit nothing will still happen you gotta dig deep into the spirit like i said if it was orchestrated from the spirit by the spirit then it has to be destroyed by a higher spiritual force and this is the reason God has sent prophets, anointed people, people that understand the realms of the spirit, the people that understand how to penetrate into the realms of the spirit, people that have access. You can have access, but you got to return to God and God return to you. You see, a lot of Christians don't even understand that you cannot be a true Christian without the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit. You need the power of the Holy Spirit inside of you. You've not been married for a long time. Because a spirit stopped you. You need a higher spiritual force to resist that spirit. You've not had the child for a long time because a spirit stopped you. You need a higher spiritual force to stop that spirit. There is a certain level that you wish to get to and you've not been able to penetrate or break through that level. You need a spiritual force. Listen, if it was orchestrated by a spirit, then you gotta be able to deactivate it through a spirit. I pray for you. The power of the Holy Ghost visit you wherever you are. Bring you deliverance, bring you breakthrough. And I decree judgment over whatever that is stopping you or resisting you. God is going to give you testimony. Remember to keep praying. Praying through the Spirit. And you will see that as you pray, 
you will no longer become a prey to the devil. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Remember, if it was orchestrated through spirit, the only way to deactivate it is through a higher spirit. God bless you. Franklin, the challenge, my name.